Shout out to my IG slippers. What's going on, y'all? My IG get a cute button. I will be back. Okay, period. I think they got one. Oh, but they do got multiple. You can add multiple admins. Why I look better on Beagle than I do IG? What's going on, Zam Zach? I'm in Houston. You don't fuck with me. Fuck you then. Period. I said the fuck I said. You don't fuck with me. You will never come. To, I'll come to shit you had. You will never come to nothing I fucking have. Fuck. Say what the fuck I say. I ain't no strange. I'll be on Beagle every day. Why you not on Beagle? I am on Beagle. Right now, as we speak, I am on Beagle. I'm on Beagle and IG at the same damn time. Beagle, Instagram, at the same damn time. I'll be on Beagle. I have Beagle. I go live every day, hours on the time. Right now, so far, I've been on Beagle two hours and 49 minutes, period. So you miss me for the last three hours. If you over here on IG, come over to Beagle. I gotta be over there because it pays more money. So you kill Erica, you're on to the next. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but the rest of them hoes know how to play with me. And if they don't know how to play, if they, knew, if they think they're going to play with me, they're going to get fucked up in their whole life. I promise you. Their whole life will be fucked up. That's what I say. The D shot closed earlier last night. No. It was about 2 o'clock. I love you too. Erica, me was dread. What you have, I'm going to come out. I don't have nothing. I had some last night. It's so confusing. Big was not confusing. I even have a video. Go look on. Oh, you've been sick too? Oh, well, stay home and be good. No, is it Corona? If it is Corona, I pray for you. If it's not Corona, stop sucking all the dicks that you suck. No shit. And I'm only saying this out loud. <laughs> I'm in Houston. Um. Oh, I love you too. I'm on Beagle. Uh, I'm rocking that color. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta go. I have to do my hair. May I send you an autism so wear the shirt? Yes, you may. Uh, my P.O. box is in my bio. The show was amazing. Yes, it was. Um, thank you, New Place 19. You know, I might, I think I'm in, I think I'm in like with somebody because one of my, I was supposed to get fucked last night. There's no, I don't come to you. See, when I'm in Atlanta, I really am a top. No shade. When I'm in Atlanta, I am a, a top. They have nothing but Bush Queens in Atlanta. I have literally, I, I've kind of sort of met like two types in Atlanta. One of them is, of course, y'all know Jody. And the other one is another dude that really was a type for real. Everything in Atlanta is a bottom. So when I'm in Atlanta, even I could be in full drag, I'm fucking something. Oh, but when I put my fat ass to Houston, I'm usually getting plunged in like a dog. But the fact that I had an opportunity to get some fucking good dick last night, and I turned it down like an ass, so I'm not feeling stupid in about a second. I feel like, oh, thank you so much, uh, Cupcakes. What is Beagle? It's an app. If y'all was on Beagle, y'all would have felt like y'all was there last night. Yes, we did have fun. Usually, I'm in mean, Houston getting plunged like a dog. And I'm not. The fuck? Okay, so I need to get out of this whatever I'm in with this dude. He needs to shit on get a pot because I'm not going to do this all my life. Be on basically like I'm a fucking hoe. What the fuck? I'm, you shouldn't miss me. I'm on Beagle all day, every day. I have this. So if you miss me, you're tripping because I'll be on Beagle all day every day. And I've told you that a thousand times. Come over there. It's not so hard. Oh, I have a video on the tube called MC Shake Explains Beagle. Just Google it and you're going to see. No, I'm in, I'm in Houston. They was throwing ass last night for real. Yes. I wish I was getting plunged. Yes. I was supposed to be getting plunged like a motherfucking plumber. And I'm sitting up here looking stupid. And he probably up at ACL fucking this hoe and that hoe and every other hoe. The fuck? Cause he like girls too. Fuck. What the fuck am I thinking about? Oh girl, I got the snap back out of there. I'm I'm supposed to be a bitch. I'm, I girl, I tell her who quick, you can't beat me at sucking dick, bitch. So <laughs> Oh he live. What are you doing? He with somebody? He live in here. He live, what are you doing? What he in somebody? Oh, we about to go in there live and cut up. So my IG still supposed to stick around. Okay, I know a few times in Atlanta, but most be DL shaking. I do DLs now. But at the end of the day, what's a butch queen or whatever you say? What's going on, Dion? Butch queen is, I'm basically a butch queen. Uh, 
I can get, when I, I don't know now. <laughs> Probably not. I think I might have lost my Butch Queen status. I was a Butch Queen at one point in time, which is basically, I could give you boy, but I'm gay, uh, like a, you know, whatever, like a Butch Queen, like, you know, a uh, sissy, but kind of give you like that male exterior. So I'm more of a Butch Queen than anything. Um, a hey, yeah. What's up, Miss Skippy? How you doing? I love you too. All right, so I come today to talk to you about some Butch Queen ass faggot ass shit anyway, because I didn't like the fuck what was saying. You work some magic? No, cupcakes. I, I like a guy. I like this dude. This dude. We finna see. My IG super y'all see him in a minute if he stay online. I don't know. I, no, I can't show you because it's the other phone. So I, I don't know if I'm a Butch Queen anymore because I'm giving more Femme Queen than anything right now. Yeah. I think I lost my Butch Queen card. Where is the, I'm not, I might be a femme queen now. Now that I think about it. What's going on, Dean? Oh, you're not mad with me anymore? I thought you was, I thought you hated my guts. I thought I would just go pound me into the ground when you saw me next time or something like that. That's the last thing I heard, girl. That you said, girl. That was just me. Anyway, um, I just don't let you go and go follow you. Thank you so much. My name over there is MC Chigala. Do you really like him this time? I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I like this guy. I like this guy. I'm supposed to be dick, bitch. I'm supposed to be getting dick down right now, bitch. I'm in Houston, got a nice room, got forty dollars, bitch, <laughs> bitch, bitch. Okay, so I just come to the realization I'm no longer a bush queen. I'm really a femme queen, bitch. I'm right now, and I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I've also come to the realization I like this boy because I'm I I turned down some dick last night. When have you ever known for shaking to turn down some dick, bitch? <laughs> Bro, you gay as fuck. You just not you just you just not seen that. I've been gay for about you know I don't know the last twenty six years. I don't know if you've seen that. That's the performance is everything. Yeah, I'm in your city. So I'm really I like a, I like this boy, and I'm a film queen. What the fuck? <sighs> yeah, girl, I got forty dollars, bitch. I got forty dollars for a trade, bitch. All right, so that's not. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what I want to talk about. Lordy, fuck! But you was giving that in prison around the time you was in Florida prison, baby. I was giving what? I do suck the best dick. There's nobody suck dick better than me. I also, okay, so I'm the number one, listen, no, this is real rap. I'm not even making this up. I am the number one dick sucker on the planet Earth. Nobody do that better than me. Not a soul. There's not a single person on the face of this planet Earth that could suck dick better than me. Nobody. I don't care what you think. I don't care who you think or what it is. Nobody suck dick better than me. I put my name on it. And I'm telling you that. That's number one. Number two, I think I'm in the running for probably the top five ass eater on the planet too. Now, the only reason that I say that is because I had somebody that used to eat my booty. And I don't know if they, I could even do the feeling that they used to give me. I don't think I could get it to a motherfucker. So they're probably the top. But I think I'm top five. Okay. All right. Now. The, <laughs> I'm just being real. So I'm the number one dick sucker on this planet. I'm top five in ass eating on this planet. I'm probably top 100 pussy eating on this planet. I'm talking about real pussy. I know how to eat pussy pretty good. I ain't never had no complaints. And every time I can make that pussy skeet, I know I can do that. I will make a bitch skeet so fast and so hard. I will tell that little pearl tongue. The, I'm so good at sucking dick. That the person I'm really like a miniature dick, bitch. And so, I'm going to air that motherfucker out, bitch. I'm going to suck your person like a sissy sucker dick. So, that's why I'm so good at eating pussy. Because I can suck dick so good. I'm just saying, y'all, be disrespect. So, I'm so I'm not, now I'm sure there's some dykes or some studs. There's probably, and I because I haven't eaten, like, I, I've been sucking dick for 26 years. I haven't eaten pussy at all. I've probably been eating pussy probably like about 
a good 15 years, but also not consistently as I've been sucking dick. So I I have had girls before. So I am top. Yeah, you number two dick suck. I'm number one. Because <laughs> I'm certainly the boy. You not beat me a second dick. And I love you, sister, but you not beat me a second dick. It's no way possible you're doing that. If you if we have a dick sucking contest, sister, I'm coming away with the trophy. I'm just telling you what's happening. Now, if you want to go ahead and challenge me, put your money where your mouth is, and I promise you, I'm going to suck the dick. Better. Who let you eat the pussy? A few people and let me eat their pussy. I've ate about, I've ate a good eight pussies in my whole life. Probably more than that. About, yeah, about eight. Nine, kind of stuff. So, I am a top 100 pussy eater. Now, dick slinging, dick slinging the ass, I'm top. Probably 1,000 dick slinging in the pussy. I, I don't know how to beat no pussy up and all that. I'm just going to be real with you. Like, I like to get rolled. And I like to... I'm like a... I'm not no try to beat... Because I don't even... Like, I guess it's like... My mental tell me a pussy can't really get beat up. I done saw a baby come out of pussy before. So in my mind, a pussy can't really get beat up. You can't beat this motherfucker up. This motherfucker stretch till a body comes out, bitch. So niggas talking about beating up pussy in my mind, I don't think that's actually accurate. So I, you know, so I guess I think that's like a psychological part, bitch. Of like humans come out of this motherfucker. There's humans coming out of this motherfucker. How you beating it up? You ain't no dick bigger than no baby, bitch. I'm telling you, there's no dick bigger than the baby that come out the motherfucker. So how the fuck is you beating it up? A baby come out this bitch. A whole human crying, shitting, wah, it's coming out this bitch. So I don't know if you could beat pussy up. I really don't think that's possible. And um, so I mean, I, I mean, the whole I fuck. I made two kids with my dick, so I mean, I know I'm pretty. I know I can do something. And yeah, and so that's that's it's accurate because it shrinks back. But if a baby could fit out, that means it's stretch. So if I so my dick in it ain't gonna do that much. But I like a hole with walls. Like, I like tightness. That's why I like ass better than pussy. But at the end of the day, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend with the pussy like I'm going to beat your pussy up or nothing. But, I mean, we're going to get where we got to go. That's just on period. Now, I, I, I see they we have this big 40-inch, 40 old, I mean, this big 10-inch niggas y'all letting fuck you, 12 inches and all that shit. I don't let no, you not fucking me with no big old dick like that. No. Bitch, I'm a 7 to 9 type of girl. From seven inches to nine inches is what I like. I can't do, you can't really be smaller than that. I might could do like a six inch nigga and still feel it. Five and below, I'm not gonna even, child, we wasting our time because I'm not gonna like you. And 10 and above, no man. I like to have walls. What the fuck I look like, Erica Mina, bitch? I want my pussy to mean something, bitch. So you not, you not fucking me with no big horse dick. I might suck it. Cause I ain't got no neck and I know how to, you know, <laughs> so it's, you getting straight through it anyway, but bitch, you're not fucking me with no 12 inch and all that shit like that. And I seen some big dick niggas and I'm like, never, that shit hurt. What the fuck y'all talk about? So seven to nine is my perfect area. I might fuck with somebody 10, uh, but 11, 12 and all that shit, you can get out of my face. Five and below, bitch, <laughs> five below like the fucking, uh, what that is? Like the snow bitch? You might as well not even play with Shake It because I'm a, uh, um, <laughs> girl, don't try. All right. So, but see, that's, that ain't even what I want to come talk about today, girl. I want to come talk about this because people got, people got life and bullshit fucked up. And I don't like people that have a life and bullshit fucked up. All right. Seven a waste of time? Seven is just about right. Seven, I can feel it. It don't kill me. It don't hurt no more. I still have my walls. I love a little. I, a good seven inch, good fucking ass nigga, I could take him all day. I could take him all day. Seven is that's perfect. What's up? What's up, uh, Val? That's perfect. I can't beat that. Se nah, seven is little. I'm about seven. No shade. I I think I'm because I'm fat. I'm seven. I think if I lose weight, I might I might hit an eight, girl. No shade. 
I really feel like that in my mind. I feel like some of the fat suck on my dick, girl. No shit. But I'm hitting about seven, you know. Seven and a half on a good day, bitch. If I lay back. If I'm on a view ride. I'm uh, seven and a half. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a realist, bitch. Lay on my back. Let the little gravity suck something. Girl. <laughs> girl, I, but I'm just, but I'm, you know, I, but for a woman, I think y'all might like a bigger dick. But for a gay man, they don't, they don't want the big old. I, they might they might want a big old dick like that. But this, I'm gonna say this gay man don't like all that. You can if you too big, you not fucking me. It's not happening. It's just not happening. I because I want because I don't, I guess I I believe they got a nigga coming after you, but you I, you in my I, you know I have yet to meet somebody I could think is about being my motherfucking husband or something like that. So bitch, I want to make sure I have some walls for the next nigga. Uh, the asshole is not elastic like the vagina, bitch. No matter what them punks tell you, the bitch that vagina stretch back up, bitch. You can get you a little water, a little vinegar, bitch, and sit in that motherfucking tub. That bitch gonna shrink back up. You do that to the ass, all your ass gonna be doing is burning, bitch. You put some vinegar on your pussy, bitch, it's gonna burn, bitch. It's not motherfucking shrinking up. Cause so once that motherfucking pussy stretched out, bitch, that bitch just stretched out. So them punks is lying to you, bitch. I don't care what them punks told you. I'm going to tell you the truth, bitch. Fuck what the fag is told you, bitch. This sister here, about to, this fucking fag going to tell you what the real is. They talking that shit. They like them big dicks, bitch. I like so the next nigga, he can feel something. So I'm not going to bust my pussy. Excuse me. I'm not going to bust my pussy wide the fuck open. If you, I'm not going to do it. Bitch, if, I, if you ready to get married and you got 10 inches and you going to just have to deal with this pussy for the rest of your life, I might fuck with that. But, bitch... As long as, bitch, you not finna ring on my finger and you just fucking me, my asshole, girl, no, ma'am. You not finna stretch me the fuck open because that bitch is not elastic. That bitch don't shrink back up, bitch. It's not like the pussy. The pussy shrinks, bitch. It shrink, it expands, it shrink, it stretch. It's like a rubber band, bitch. Bitch, it, it, it go, it, it, it stretch, bitch, and it go back, bitch. The, the bitch, the pussy is like a trash bag, bitch. Most of this bust is bust. Ain't no putting it back on, bitch. So at the end of the day, bitch, you not finna tell my, you ain't finna, bitch, you ain't finna tell my pussy up, open me up like that, bitch, and have me, next nigga coming at me, and he think he, bitch, he think he, he think he, he think, nigga coming with me, he think he fucking Kiki Wire, bitch. Just no walls, bitch, it's the, bitch. There's a leak in this old building, and my soul has got to move. My soul has got to, bitch, he think he in the motherfucking banquet hall, bitch. He fucking me thinking he, thinking he, bitch. <laughs> he fucking me thinking he, he at Ryan's, bitch. Oh, bitch, you at the buffet, bitch. No, ma'am. <laughs> bitch, he start fucking me. Like, damn, this is too loose and easy back here. <laughs> Alexa, play. Play nothing in this world. I can picture us in the living room by the mantelpiece. And you're telling me you're loving me, bitch. No, oh, man. You're not finna do that when you fucking shake it. That's not what's about to fucking happen, bitch. You're not gonna think, bitch. <laughs> you're not gonna think you fucking Kiki White, bitch. I don't want you feeling that feeling. So I'm not finna let no 40, no big, big 12 dick ass, horse dick ass nigga come put nothing in my asshole, bitch. <laughs> With your hand on my thigh. Why are you staring? Girl, no man, you ain't finna do that to me, bitch. I like a nigga to feel something. Huh? What's up, big old? Bitch, I like a nigga to feel something, bitch. You're not finna. No, I'm not the one. I ain't the one doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> the expression on your face, <laughs> bitch. No, you not finna start doing it, bitch. You gonna feel, bitch. You gonna grip, bitch. Grip, bitch. <laughs> grip, grip, bitch. Ain't finna do that to me, bitch. Got me all the way fucked up. Yeah, girl, he got only fans. You see, it's pretty big, but bitch, I. Uh -uh. So okay, so that ain't what I want to come talk about, girl. <laughs> bitch, I'm just letting y'all know about shaky. I can't tell you about the rest of them, girl. I can tell you about shaky, girl. I can't tell you about the rest of them. I can only tell you about me. <laughs> bitch, 
Bitch, uh-uh. You got to be seven, seven to nine. That's it. That's it. I take a All right. So listen. So we, this is what I want to talk to you about because I told people go live, but she, I, I guess she just don't give a fuck about what, what's going on. Because I'm getting accused of not understanding something, and my understanding is very much so motherfucking good. Like I'm not no motherfucking dummy. That's just what the not what the fuck I am. I'm a lot of motherfucking things. But I ain't no motherfucking dummy. That's what the fuck I'm not. If you can say 12, you have no walls. And I say what I said. You have no walls, bitch. Your house have no walls, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Shine Four. All right, so this was the post. The post says, Beagle Sippers, y'all saw this. Yes, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, nephew. So, check this out. Beagle Sippers, y'all saw this post over I just Sippers, y'all did. It says, oh girl, I can't read it like that. I'm going to just turn it around, girl. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just flip this around because I can't read it, girl. All right. So it says, I hope Lil Nas encouraged some of you DL men to just come out already because us women needs to know your heart and why your dick can't stay hard. Lordy. And then she goes on to say in the comment, ladies, it's not the, de it's not the devil. It's God who's helping us out so we can find our real spouse. You could, <laughs> you could, no, child. You could pray gayness out of your three to five year old son, but you cannot pray it out of a 30 year old man. I pray for the day because I'm sick of what straight men let God work, Lordy. Okay, so I responded to this because this is quick for us. I think I consider her a friend. I consider her a friend. I consider her a friend. I've worked with her in the past twice, actually. Two different projects. Uh, we have each other's phone number. I called her. So this is what she said. It was also incorrect. She said, I thought pull, pull, this is wrong and homophobic on so many levels. But okay, whatever. And she, and she says, how, Shake, you have kids and you decided to be who you are. Decided? I decided? When did I decide? When did I decide to like men? At what point do you say, did you decide that you like men? Who in this chat right now decided that they like 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 men? Who in this one either? If you gay or straight or whatever, whatever, when did you decide that? Anybody decided they were they like who they like? I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure out when. So listen, let's. So she goes on to say that she was helping out the gay people because she's tired of DL men breaking our hearts and y'all hearts. Okay, that's what she said. That was her excuse. But I will say this. No, no, no. Now, now before she talk about fuck that pussy asshole, she's a good girl. She's just misguided. Quifo is not a bad person. Okay, I want y'all to know that. I just told you I consider her a friend. She's not a bad person. She's she's just misguided. Now I, I wish she's here. If y'all want to shed a lot, so I wish she was here to hear what I was saying. Cause she's not a bad person. Okay, but I will say this: nobody that I know, and I have yet to meet anybody that decides who they love. I never decided to be attracted to men. If I had the choice to decide, I'm telling you now, and look me in my eyes, I would have decided to be straight. I would have decided to be straight. There is not a decision that I have had or could make. If I could decide, if I had the choice, listen, since the beginning of humanity, gay people have been the most persecuted group in the history of this planet. More persecuted than blacks, more persecuted than Jews, more persecuted than any sect continually throughout the history of humanity. Society truly is just beginning pure acceptance of homosexuality 
And not only that, even with that acceptance that we have attained now, we still don't have equal basic human rights as people. Understand me so. If white supremacists think black people are three-fifths of a human, he thinks fags are one-fifth of a human. So if who would decide to be the most persecuted sect in the history of humanity? Who decides that? I will tell you as a gay man, as a gay man who tried to be straight at some point in time in my life, it wasn't a decision. If I could choose, I choose straight. The reason I choose straight is just less easy on life. For me to just have a wife and a picket fence in the house and be normal and not people. And every time I go out and go to, I when I drive from here to Atlanta, well not here, I'm in Houston now. But when I drive from my house to Atlanta and I got to stop in Alabama and they looking at me like I'm crazy. Because I'm going to go use the bathroom and I'm hoping, I'm trying to hold it till I get to Georgia. Because they're just a little bit more accepting. And I won't get caught in the truck stop and get gay bashed or anything like that. You know what? Yeah, <laughs> That sounds like something fun to choose. So let's get that clear. There is no, what part of Houston? I'm in Houston. I don't know. What part? I don't know. I'm just in Houston. So that's not a decision. Let's get that clear. Let's educate that part. Now, I want to space something about something she thinks. Let me tell you, DL men are not DL because they have a choice. It is not the DL men fault they DL. Okay? And I'm going to break this down to you and I want y'all to hear me out and try your best to understand what I am saying. I was always gay. I was I, I was always gay. When when my kids when my kids were conceived and born, I was gay. When I was having sex with my baby mamas and other women, I was gay. I might have been trying to lie to myself, lie to you, lie to her, lie to my mama. I might have been trying to lie, but I was gay. I was just as gay as when after I left my baby mama, I went and go to this nigga I was messing with. I was just as gay. I was gay when I did it. I didn't used to believe in bisexual, but I think it's a real thing now. I'm starting to believe it's a real thing. All right. Let me talk about ad people before y'all try to add people. So, let me tell y'all something. It comes down to this. DL men have an attraction to men. That's facts. That's what they are. They have an attraction to men. That's just true. That's a fact. It's nothing they could do about what they what they are attracted to. I didn't used to think bisexuality is real, but it is real. I found out, and I and I was I was, just, I was educated about that. I didn't think it was real, but it is. Um, that's not the that's not the that's not the topic of discussion right at the moment. But. I don't believe that, Malaysia. I'm not adding anyone until I finish my statement, sweetheart. But thank you for requesting. And so, y'all can answer them questions for y'all, for, for them, my admins. Y'all can answer them questions that people are asking in the comments over here because it doesn't, it's, I'm not stopping. If a DL man could come out to his church, his homeboys, his job, his sisters, brothers, his parents, and not be judged, he wouldn't need to be DL. Okay. If he could come around with his boyfriend, 
and hold his hand and still go play basketball with the fellas, still go to church and be respected as a man, still he keep his job, don't have to worry about his sisters and them talking behind his back, don't worry about his brothers, don't want to let the nephews around him, don't worry about his mama saying, not my son, or his daddy be like, not my son. If he could do that, he wouldn't need to be fucking up your life and mine. Okay. When. Yes, I'm saying that. DL niggas are not being DL because they're greedy. They're not being DL because they're freaky. They're not being DL because they like it. They're being DL because society will reject them being themselves. The DL is the defense mechanism. You hear me? They not being DL because it's something is the thing to do. It's the DL because they have an attraction to a man. And if the world knew about that attraction to a man, they would reject them. Their mama and their daddy will reject them. Their brothers and their sisters will reject them. Their job will reject them. Their homeboys will reject them. They couldn't be themselves because the because 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 so DL is okay. Fuck no, DL is not okay. Hell no. I'm not saying DL is okay, but stop trying to blame the victim when the perpetrator is the world we craft for them. I have. No, that's always true. That's always true. That's always true. I have dealt, I've not only been DL, but I've dealt with DL niggas. And I have a DL nigga right now, His and I swear, y'all know about him because I kind of called him on the phone with y'all and stuff like that. But I had this man lay up at my bed and tell me how much he loved me, but he can't because his mama, he can't face his mama and bring me around. He can't, one of his homeboys is a rapper. He can't go around his homeboys and his homeboys know that he back there fucking shaky. It's not okay to be a DL, but, we, but you can't solve the problem you have by not identifying the root of the problem. Yes, they're shaky. But listen, the world we craft for them, why do not we accept our own? Yes, that's our fault. We don't accept. Especially for us black people. That's definitely not their fault. Why don't we craft a world for them where unequivocally we accept people? Why are we taught to dis... And we were just having a discussion about how the black church and the black gay community are so disassociated when that's the ones they need to be talking to. Speaking of this Lil Nas X shit. The world makes everything okay for everybody except except those people. It's, it, 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 when we are confused about sexuality, especially in the black community, oh, I'm here with sissy. He ain't gonna be no man. I don't want him, blah, blah, blah. I, listen, I swear to God, y'all know me very well and y'all know how I feel about children. And y'all know I and y'all know they didn't pull up everything about me. And never in the history of my ever going to jail or anything have you ever heard anything about me messing with kids. But I've heard my brother, my own brother, my blood brother, same mama, same daddy, say, "Oh, I want my son going right right. I don't want him to get what." This is the ideology we have. Now, this is my situation, but I understand. Okay, you just don't get it. But at the end of the day, what I will say, this is a common thread because I've talked to other people who have similar situations and that that illogical, and I'm probably the brother that'll never let nothing happen to the kids. I'm probably the brother that'll jump in front of the bullet for them. That I'm probably the brother that's gonna go broke to make sure they got less. To, 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 to go broke to make sure they got something. I'm probably that brother, to be honest with you. But at the end of the day, I've heard I've heard my own brother mention he don't want his son around me. 
uh, because he don't want them acting like you. Really? Is that right or wrong? No, that's your choice. You make the choice of what you want to do. I don't care. I'll beat your bitch ass up. <laughs> that's what I, and, and this is the brother I've also beat up before, no shade. With his punk, what I think is punk ass, <laughs> but no shit. He act more like, he act, he act more prissy than me if you ask me to be honest with you. No fucking shade. But nonetheless, he the same brother that <laughs> I beat him up. I don't know if y'all remember me telling that story, but I had a fight with him because uh, he, my um, my nephew, my other nephew, had came in, was all at the house, and my other nephew had came in, and he was crying because my his cousins, which was my other niece's nephew, was kind of picking on him. And so he was like, ah, don't, don't baby him. And, it's, and it's, don't baby him before he turned out like Rodney. I said, what you mean? What that mean? And I, I whooped the fuck out of him. We had a fight. It was, and I whooped the piss out of him. And I said, not turn out like, oh, it is what it is. But, okay, so, with the, so nonetheless, with this ideological thinking, shouldn't we want our kids around the gay uncle or the gay cousin to make them have a degree of acceptance? Gay people aren't <laughs> predators. Gay people are no more so than some of these nasty ass straight niggas. Or straight women. That's we doing the most. We're not trying to do the turn the, the, you know what I'm saying? Shake his name, BDL is not okay. I'm not saying, oh, DL is definitely not okay. DL is definitely not okay. But the, the but to solve the problem of DL niggas is not to shame the DL niggas. That's not the solution to the problem. Cause and so the, with, with the solution, because when she posted that, she was thinking this is the solution to the problem. Let's shame these niggas. This is the solution to the problem. Come out the closet, you sissy. This is what she thinking is the solution to the problem. When she doesn't even understand the root of the problem. So if DL is a problem, the solution to the DL problem is simple. Unequivocal acceptance. Because you won't, because if a man can be accepted, and not looked at as a fag, a sister, whatever the case may be, and still hang, hang with his homeboys, still be able to be still welcome in his church home, still welcome in his cousins and sisters and auntie's house, still welcome in his mama house, and, and can bring his boyfriend to the house? Guess what? He don't have to be no more. Guess what? He ain't gonna be DL. Uh, D, being DL, these DL brothers having these women is only to prove that they're not feeling what they're really feeling inside. These children, young, might have some feelings for something. But they hear, and they hear, they hear you on the phone gossiping with your sister. Yeah, girl. Rodney, girl, girl, he, girl, he got blue hair, girl. All this gay ass shit. They hear, oh, man, look at that faggot ass nigga. They hear that. They hear you go and play ball with a homie, man. You ain't real hang with homie no more, man. It's your homie fucking them boys. They hear that. And so when they get these feelings, they don't want to lose your approval. They don't want to lose your acceptance. They don't want to lose your, your putting them out, casting them out. They don't want to be the one next on you on the phone talking about. So what did they do? They lie. They can't stop the feeling because it's not a motherfucking decision. It's not a decision. It's not a, a it's not a, it's not a, oh yeah, well, today I'm going to be gay, tomorrow I'm going to be pansexual. I don't know what other letters in it. L B P T L S N O P. Bitch, I'm gonna leave a B Z. Some stuff fucking to you, bros. Okay, back to being straight. Let me just click the button. It's not that. It's not that. I'm not saying black people don't talk about everybody. They probably do. But at the end of the day, we just talk about the gay issue now because according to this sister, her solution was the problem to shame these niggas until they come out the closet. That was her problem. That was her solution. And that's not the solution. The solution is we got to accept everybody. 80% don't have a choice. 100% don't have a choice. Who chooses to be gay? Show me somebody that chose to be gay. No, I'm not saying accept it. I'm, I'm not saying you're not supposed to accept the DL behavior, but you're supposed to accept people. And the only way to fight this phenomenon of DL men is to teach not only our kids, but to practice universal and unequivocal acceptance. Education is the common really. Gay people is just extra. Gay, gay, no, DL men don't think they're straight. That's the persona that they want to present so they can, feel, they can be accepted. They don't think, they know they're not straight. They know they have an alternative sexuality. Every last person that I know DL truly know that they're not straight. 
I'm not asking you to support the young men, but the problem is, so what you think the solution is? To shame them till they come out of the closet? How has that been working for y'all for the past 40 years since the, the DL phenomenon have been here? Straight women. <laughs> Let me... So what's the solution? I, my solution is to accept and teach universal and unequivocal acceptance so that when the next generation of men come out, they don't feel... They don't feel like they have to hide who they really are. But I'm trying to figure out if y'all got a better solution, let me know. Oh, I know what y'all said. One of them was shame them, shame them sissies. Drag them out the closet. Be courageous and don't date women until you come out. This is, this is, that's, that's just not possible. Y'all, the, the, the world that we have is predicated on stuff. No shit you talking backwards. I'm starting to see. Do I not see your comments? I didn't see one of them. I'm sorry, honestly. This is the first one I see. I'm actually on two lives right now. I'm on one on big one. I'm on one on on on, on, on IG. So if I didn't see a comment. I apologize. The world is more accepting now. Not really. Definitely not the black community. As much as I don't condone the young men, I do not agree with them being ashamed. My opinion is a form of hate crime. It's not cool. They hide because they want to be bisexual. No, they hide because we won't accept it. Straight. Black women get blamed for everything, and that's wrong. I don't blame straight black women for this, but y'all have a hand in it. Let me ask you something, straight black women. I'm going to make up a statistic right now to prove my part. All right? Well, they estimate that one in ten people in this world or really gay for real. Which then would beg to differ through, I guess the laws of mathematics, maybe one in five would be gay and or bisexual. Um, so we could say that. Can we agree with on that real quick just to move the point along? I don't know the exact number. I'm gonna admit that now. But we'll just move the point along. So one in five people have some thoughts of something. Okay? So that means there's 350 women. There's 350 people here. Let's say um, 200 of y'all are women. So one in five of each of us, that means that of all two, of 200 of the women that's up in this room right now, and like I said, we just put the numbers on the sky, I don't know exactly, but that means that one in 25, that means 50 of you 200 people, if it was 250, it'd be 50. All right, but let's just say 250, just, for, just to get the numbers up. That means 50 of you that slept with a man, that slept with a man. Wanted to sleep with a man or had thoughts about sleeping with a man or something like that. Of y'all. That's the estimate. So with that being said, my dears, this is the thing. Nah. Thank you. So with that being said, 50 of y'all have slept with a man that's slept with a man. All right? What would you? What's going on, Skittle? Would you? Shake your head. You ever push someone out of the closet? <laughs> yes, quite a couple. <laughs> Not proud of either. Uh, well, the bread, if you count her. So that means one in five, fifty of you girls in here, that fuck with a man, that fuck with a man, and that's probably being generous. No shade. That's probably just punks ain't fucking themselves. They fucking niggas. Just telling what's going on. So with that being said, what do you feel is appropriate? Would you have still slept with him if you knew he slept with a man? Would you accept that if you knew, if he came to you and said, look, I'm just being real with you. You're like, I fuck. I fuck with I fuck with dudes. <laughs> no. So it makes it okay that you don't know. Hey, what's up, Jakey? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing, baby? I'm alright. I'm gonna just talk to my shit right quick, and then you can hang up on me if you want to. So, 
me personally, I'm a lesbian. I've been gay since I was a jit. Oh God, I, I didn't chose to be this way. Cause like you say, if it was your choice, if it was my choice, I'll be straight. I grew up in a gay community, I, I grew up in a straight. Nobody in my family is gay. You feel me? I'm the only gay person in my family. My last name Williams, it go a long way. If you know Williams, it's big. Ain't nobody gay that I know of, you feel me? I'm the first person in my family that ever was gay. You feel me? That actually came out, put it like that. And, and me, I ain't chose to be this way because if I had a choice, like you say, I wouldn't be this way. I love, I love family. I love life. I love God. I believe in him. I know, I know what the Bible say. So it was hard for me to come out, period. And like you say, oh, DL boys, they don't want to come out because of the bash, the, 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 the discrimination, the, the acts of hate. You feel me? But me personally, as me being a lesbian and you being a gay man, it's different. I know it's different because there's levels to that shit. So, they accept the female being gay compared to being a guy being gay. You feel me? It's really, it's really to them, it's nasty, nasty for a guy to be gay. But in Jamaican and other like islands, it's for for somebody to be gay. It's like uh. But if it was they had a choice from gay girls or gay boys, gay boys would be like more bash, bash nation. You feel me? So when you speak on when you speak on what you speak on, I ain't choose to be this way. If I had a choice, I would never be gay because I grew up in church. I know about the Bible. I was the only person in my family gay. like, and I, I denied that shit. When I first came out of my mom, she was like, you know what I'm saying? For a long time. But to me, it made me stronger because I never depended on a fuck person in the world. You feel me? It made me stronger as a person because I was able to be me. I was able to, if I wanted this, I'm going to work for my shit. I ain't got to worry about nobody. <sighs> I need you. I need you. I, I don't need nobody. To this day, I don't need no fuck body but God. And don't don't get me wrong. To this day, my mama, she she loved me to this death when she found out. It took a while. It took us It took us moments to get to where we at. But she accept me now. You feel me? She accept me as a person. She accept me as her child. So Shake it on me and alive. I look a fool, shaky. You could, you can't, you don't have to show yourself. I know, because I like what this, oh, you hear me shaking. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> hey, I love you so much. Um, but I'm I happy thought, you asked me to be in the live, but go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm going to listen yeah, to Yeah, let her finish, but I want to address something that you said in the live. That's go why ahead. I put you right there, but just to, okay, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Huh? You was able to add people, extra people? Yeah, you got up to four people, I think, right now. Oh, that's raw. That's raw. That's raw shit. But you know, I've been fucking with you for a minute. I ain't a bitch. I ain't a from New Orleans. You feel me? I'm from I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Miami. But I stay in Atlanta. But I've been following you for a long time. But more of the story is at the end of the day, and I stay in Atlanta. So yeah, you come to Atlanta, you will be like you were speaking on that shit. Man, you accepted as fuck down there. Ain't nothing but gay men down there. You feel me? And it's it's gay powerful man down there. So you come to Atlanta, it's like it's nation. It's accept. It's nothing like, but. But yeah, like you know, the people I feel like who bash gay men as heterosexuals, they DL. They 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 want to come out, but they just scared to come out, or they mad because you came out and you accept it, and they can't come out because they feel like they won't be accepted. But more of the story is I fuck with you, shaky, and this gay shit is on other levels, and ain't no ain't no ain't nobody in the world can tell me nothing about this gay shit because I've been there, I've been doing this shit. You feel me? But I love you, Papa, and you know you be safe. I mean I'm in DR. And I just had to tune out. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm in DR, DR on vacation with my girl. Let me see your girl. Hey, watch him. He cute. Period. Yeah, we, we, we down here. <laughs> you had me fucked up. Fuck, fuck whoever hating on you, shaky. You feel me? You been there, done that. You feel me? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But in the day, a friend won't, won't, won't address you like that. It's not a friend. She just associated you. Remember that. A friend will not address you whatever you say you got going on. And she could be your best friend. But, you know, sometimes them kikis, them sneak disses, it means something. You need to take heed to that shit. I did. I, I, mm -hmm. I asked to this day because of that shit. Like, fuck a bitch. Like, you been hating. Not saying your friend or whoever she hating, but take heed to what she's saying. Fuck that. Yeah. But, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like you, you know, you, you, you probably don't remember the name, but bitch, remember the name. Him, lady, I've been fucking with you. Thank you so much, him, lady. I appreciate it. Hey, I love you. You too. Bye bye. Let me see your name, bitch. Okay. <laughs> then. Hey. All right. Bye bye, baby. All right. I don't know how to hang up. I don't know how to hang up. I got you. All right. Christy, what's going on, sister? How you doing? 
I'm fine here. Hey, shake it. How are you? I'm all right. What part of New Orleans you from? Uptown, but I reside in Houston. All right. I'm in Houston, too. All right. So I know you... I just asked you where you was going to be, but go ahead. Oh, I'm going to be at um, I'm gonna be at the Zachary shop. I'm waiting on them to come give me that. Which so, one? Zachary uh, Ward? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to put on some clothes and come down there, but go ahead. Finish what come... you're about to see. You type some in the comments that say, God destroys Sodom and Gomorrah in the, in the Bible, right? No, I say there's a chapter in the Bible of Sodom and Gomorrah. And I feel people, people they always want to be like the Bible thumpers, like I'm a God-fearing woman. The reason you're hearing me so much on this topic is because it's on both sides of my family, right? And I was okay. once one of these people that... Oh, my God, this is so wrong because I grew up in church. You know, we was taught it's heterosexual, you know, lifestyle. Well, I have a brother that recently passed away a couple of years ago who ends up being gay and nothing ever happened to him. You know, these people talk about, well, they must have been found or they must have been molested. They must have been this, this and that. None of that ever happened. We uh, figured out, you know, that he was in a lifestyle when he was like five years old. You know, we saw it coming up. Since then, of course, both sides of the family, we have lesbians, we have gay, we have straight. My now 15-year-old son is gay and learned at an early age, this is what I am. You know, he tried to hide it for a while. But, you know, you can see it. Like, and I'm a parent that I had to get understanding and clarity, right? And I got that from some of my friends that I used to work with. When my brother, when we found out about my brother, we used to try to beat it out him. We used to try to punish him. We used to try to fuss about it. And when we learned that he wasn't changing, this was him, what you going to do? You going to be mad at him forever and try to beat the hell out of him? Or you going to accept that this is your brother and you love him to death, you know? So we had to learn and be educated, right? He ended up being transgender. He ended up having a whole bunch of friends, very, very talented, very, very creative. My now son is um, part of the LGBTQ+++, plus plus plus, and so lovable, so educated, have so many friends teachers and everybody you know um like admire him and love that he is so smart you know and they always say he have like the it factor so when i hear people say oh no somebody they was taught right or when i hear people say that y'all made a choice that shit wasn't chosen so anyway i'm sorry because i get a little touchy about this subject shaky but go ahead no i i want to just i just piggyback on what you were saying in the comments and I mean you hit the nail on the head for me um, it's, I never was touched molested I had positive marrow I got four brothers mm -hmm. and one sister like, I don't mm -hmm. have they no, the only girls in the house is my mom and my sister and no no shade Tiff is a tough cookie like I don't know there's nothing that, I don't know nothing about being a woman I don't know nothing about like y'all had to teach me about lashes I didn't know nothing mm -hmm. about it. I don't know I don't know nothing about it because I never did it and so I say that to say only I got like not, never touched, never molested, never none of that stuff. Never I no, know. Saw, saw no gay people. We had one gay. I had one gay uncle in the state of Chicago. We never saw him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He, you know, he died before he died when I was a child. So uh, it's like I don't think that people understand that they it's don't. not a choice. Like they don't. They don't. And I have I, three sons. One is twenty five. One is twenty one, and my baby is fifteen. And out of them three. He, and he was the last one, right? The last child. It was a, a situation where I didn't even want this last child, you know, but I love him with that. But it, I just was done with having kids because the other two were older, you know. And he ended up being like the little golden child, you know, the last little lineage for me. And he ended up being gay. And I love him to death. Like, I go to war for him. Like you said about your, um, your brother's children, where you're jumping in front of a bullet. Oh, that's how we. That's how I'm coming behind him, and I teach him. You don't let nobody bash you. You don't let nobody make you be in a box. You know because of who you are, you be you. Fuck them. You know, and if it's a grown up, tell them come talk to your mom. <laughs> 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 so I just hate that people lack understanding, and when they lack understanding and they're scared about things, they are unwilling to hear the other side or try to get educated. I was scared two years ago when my brother was going through this, but guess what? I had to make a decision. Now, my decision and a choice was either I'm going to get educated or I'm going to still treat him like shit. 
And I chose to get educated. You know, I, I just think it's wrong. You know, I feel like we all on this earth, we all bleed the same. I feel like people should be people. Love who you love. In the Bible, they have Sodom and Gomorrah. And in Sodom and Gomorrah, the fucking angels was fucking each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was in the Bible. So how is it that God didn't make people this way? Is either God didn't make people this way, or the Bible is not the truth, like it's man-made. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just know that people didn't choose this. And I know this for a fact. And nobody can't tell me different. I know it for a fact. I appreciate your candor. Thank you so much for coming. Tell us, thank you for that. I will come down there. What time are you going to the decor shop? And thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Uh, I suppose in a minute. I think it's about four, five o'clock, I guess. Oh, I, I'm um, waiting on a damn Xfinity man. He's supposed to be here for five o'clock. My internet went out. But as soon as he come, I'm about to go put on me some clothes and I'm going to come down there. And I have to meet you. I always be on your lives. Me and you had a fuss one time with my baby. My baby was his picture. And it wasn't really a real fuss. But we were talking about Camilla. Wait, that's her name? Kamala? However you pronounce her name. Well, you had the whole political thing on YouTube about Kamala oh. and being Indian. Yeah. That was yeah. me. But my baby picture is, uh-uh, we good. Don't do that. <laughs> we good. We good. Because I understood your point. You know, we cleared it all up. We, I understood oh. your point. Right. But... I can't wait to see you. And you said you're going to be a deck reward, right? Mm -hmm. That's not too far from me. I'm going to go put on clothes and come down there. I can't wait to see you. Same here. And thank you for having me. And I love the LGBTQ+. Plus. <laughs> I call it the plus, plus, plus. Because yeah, so many I, people is all over the place. And they're doing whatever it is they want to do. Yeah. I like that they're so creative. Even you. But, you know you're so creative. And congratulations on all your endeavors. And fuck them. You. That's how I feel about it. Fuck them. Period. Period. <laughs> You have a good day, Shaky. Thank you. Dude, that was a good conversation. I'm glad she came up, y'all. Uh, and uh, gave us some insight on that other gay bone. Like, I don't know what it means to be a gay parent. How you doing? Hey, baby. Uh, are you gay? No, I'm not. When did you choose to be straight? I'm, I always been straight, but I don't... Oh, yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Stop. You can't tell me about being gay because you're not. I, but you're telling me that you never chose to be straight, which is always well. Right. So as a gay man, I'm telling you, I never chose to be gay. I just always was. Right. Okay. I, it's I, definitely I, not I, I, I have a family member that is, is gay. Yeah. You have a what? My niece, she, okay. she, she is gay. And um, when she was like 15 years old, we was wondering, like, she never had a boyfriend. She kind of threw all her, like, dresses and stuff away. And she started wearing pants. And we was asking her, like, what, what happened? Like, if somebody touched her or messed with her or something like that. And she was like, no. She said she just, you know, that's why I can feel when you say that it's kind of, a like, you know, a natural thing or something like that. Because the only thing. there are some people, there are some people that have alternative views of sexuality because of things like molestation and stuff like that. Right. And I've heard of that before. I'm right. only saying that in any case, your niece didn't choose to be gay. She may have chose when to come out about it, right. but she never chose it. And I had saw you in the comments saying it's a choice. You don't care about it. And I respect that you're saying how you said it was, I don't care either way because I love my gay people. That's what you I said. Do. The I, I do. But you thought it was a choice. And I'm here to tell you, it's no more of a choice than the choice you had on being straight. Right, right. I do. You don't like women. So do. not, not, you can't choose tomorrow to like women. Right, if right. I don't like vanilla ice cream, I can still choose tomorrow to eat chocolate. Right. right. <laughs> but if I'm not, I can't choose. I could choose if I can hide it. I could choose not to talk about it. I could choose not to be with it or act on it. But I can't choose to be straight or gay. Right. So you, never, like, Hello? you never had a feeling. Well, I'm not in charge for this call. It's college now. Rodney Russell, my name. 
Ronnie Russo, my name. My name. Russo, yes. Which one which one would change it to Shaky Smith? <laughs> I'm I, I was I, I was just trying to make you laugh. It worked. It worked. Uh, you know I'd be out of this. I'm not even doing it. Huh? Yes, I did. Yes. All right. Okay. What's what you mean don't be on no bullshit? What's bullshit? What is bullshit? What's bullshit? Can, can I know what bullshit is so I don't be on it? Right. 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 All right. So, my little says that he said, "Come as you are." He not talking about clothes. He ain't talking about yeah. He a D, perfect example, DL May. He not talking about clothes. I want to ask somebody. Uh, girl, where's she? At? She just texted me talking to me, Anna. Is you in a um? I'll see you in the queue. DL man, perfect example. Thank you, 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 thank you. That was a fire that was ready. Girl, you got to get in the queue. I don't see you. All right. So could you could could you type something so I know. You hit the, I don't know how to, like, really, I'm on IG, not that much no more. They changed their live system to what it used to be. So I really can't even see you. What's, so that's what, what's, that's what I'm telling you. What, what's your IG? What's, what, no, 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 don't click on. What's your IG name? Is what I'm saying. I'm All right. I do see you. Thank you, my pain. Cool. You see it now? Yeah. All right. What's up, my clothes? Hey baby, now now I have to figure out how to flip the camera around. <laughs> I don't know how to do none of this shit. The person I just got a phone with, he was DL before. He was DL before. He used to was he used to wear some white men for money. We like punk. Brady's bisexual, for real. What would that bitch find? Jesus Christ, that's a fine motherfucker, man. Oh my God, I talk about Brady prison story. That bitch fine. I'm gonna show you. Remind me to show y'all. I can show. I wonder if I had it. Girl, that's a fine ass bitch. That bitch so fine don't make no sense. I talk about ready. What girl? Uh, camera. Well, so I can see On my side, on my side, I see uh a little two arrows. Yeah. Okay. Press that. You chill, chill. <laughs> there I go. How you doing today, baby? I'm alright. How you doing? Now? You know I was looking for you though, right? You know that day I'm talking about. I was still in the lamp. Uh-huh. Get get that paper. I ain't tripping. But okay, <laughs> this is this is what I wanna address. I was a mother that raised a gay son. And I'ma tell you when it hit home, it hit different. I always did have gay friends. And the reason I had gay friends, and most of them were males, because sometimes those lesbians, no offense. No offense. Don't come unless I sin. This is it. They used to be a little too aggressive. When I would go out with my gay friends, they would associate that as you being gay as well, right? So I had some issues with the lesbians. But far as DL men, I'm here to tell the people that's putting the pressure on them, you need to stop. Because I'm a woman and I'm a sexual woman. 
but I am straight. And I'll tell you this, they send off signals and red flags. Us women, we let too many red flags be passive. You see what I'm saying? My opinion, if you're in an intimate relationship with a guy and he let you play with his butt a little bit too much, get up. He's the L. I don't care how many pistols he sling, how many babies he have. If he like that ass play with girl, he DL. Okay. You agree? So do you reckon, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, do, do you, do you, uh, so do you recommend him trying to play with the butt to see what he do? Well, me, I'm a, I'm a little, you know, I ain't going to tell out too much of my business, but I mean, <laughs> if, 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 if you're one of them ones that, you know, you sleep around and all this here, I mean, you might as well test the waters so you can know what you're dealing with. <laughs> So you won't become so you won't become bitter. Listen, no, it's not it's not funny. Listen, it's so you won't become bitter, right? So you're gonna invest time in a man when you start a relationship or you start dating, right? We're gonna say dating. So you're you're investing time. And nowadays the women making the most money. So sometimes you got to be the one that spend a little change too. You get what I'm saying? So you invest in time, money. Then you start investing your body. Then your emotions. You got to start finding out. You, yeah, you got to play with the booties. You got to play with the booties. That's my opinion. And I'm, and I'm kicking so, 50. So how, I, got, I got a question. Since you mentioned that. So how far? Because I'm, I'm gay. So I'm playing with, I'm, when I'm sucking dick, I play with his butt. But it's like I'm gay. So I think, I don't know, what else. But I've had some men that been like that. But I mean, but I so, how so far you get you with how, how far do you go in the butt? Or do go okay, with the, I would you, say this, like, okay, you know, let's say if he's, you, you missionary. You know, sometimes you got to push y'all in a little to get y'all situated to where we want y'all to uh, get that right stroke, you know? But if he let you keep on going, and especially if you done gave him some little service and everything, and you all wet and he all wet, and you slip far too down to where that hole at, and you could jiggle, look, see this finger? And you uh -huh. could jiggle that finger around his booty hole, and he go to stroking you a little bit more harder. Stop the games if you don't like DLs, because he likes something up in there. Other uh, than butt plug brothers, that's DL. Because technically, if you're so straight, you don't want nothing to go in. You just want everything to come out, whether it's a finger or a toy. That's how I look at it. So listen. By that logic, if I would, if a DL man could just when he with his woman act like he don't want you in the butt, does that make him less DL? No, it doesn't. It makes him a a liar, or, or just like we named him a DL. And I agree with you about the in the other young lady. I gave her a lot of hearts and rainbows because it is so hard. I raised a gay son, and me as a mother. I'm kind of like, well, you know, I'm from New Orleans. I was raised up kind of tomboyish. So when I saw the phenomenon characteristics in my son, I saw this like around two, three years old. He just wasn't masculine whatsoever. I tried to put masculinity into him. I failed. And they had another young lady or something I was reading, or maybe you said it. They said, well, you can pray gay out. I don't believe that. And no offense to that. What's that guy? He was once gay, but now he's straight, and he this big old uh, gospel man. I don't know. His, I can't call his name. Andrew Cole. Andrew Cole. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. But any, anywho, God doesn't make mistakes. Gotcha. I know that. So, so I think I think I think everything that we've been involved in is a learning situation, okay? Like I will admit, it was kind of hard for me to accept that my kid was gay because I thought I prayed it out. I thought I treated him so rough to where it would come out. But when he became a certain age and he came from behind the mirror. Cause I started telling him, you know, you um standing behind some see-through glass in that um closet, huh? Cause it was just obvious. 
And then he was more comfortable with himself. I wish I was more accepting from the gate when I saw it to handle him the way his mannerisms was. But back then, in the early 90s, it wasn't as acceptable as now. You get what I'm saying? It was pressure from family. I was a young mother. You, you did get the people saying, oh, he act like a little girl. He's a little faggot and things like that. That hurts a mother's uh, parents' feeling. You don't want to hear those negative things about your child. Now it's more accepting. You know what I'm saying? It's more accepting if you might tell your friend, oh, look at him. He's going to be a little shaky. We probably laugh it off. But had you told me that in like 93, I probably wouldn't be your friend no damn more. I, so I have a question. So um, in case the people didn't know, yes, that if they were saying Nikki B on the wall, that is Nikki B's mother. Uh, in case y'all didn't know that, that's who she is. Uh, but I want to ask you this. Uh, so did you ever get to see, so we, you, of course you know your son, and I, you said that you had some signs when he was two, and eventually he just kind of was like, okay, this, you know, you, 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 had, you had to accept what was known. Did you get an opportunity to meet or have uh, dealings with anybody that or, or his his boyfriends or lovers or friends or anything that you have an opportunity to deal with or see or interact with any of those people? Well, yes. Yeah, still to this day, I am friends with his um his last lover, to my knowledge, who was TJ, and they was in a relationship. So at first, yeah, well, I'm I'm gonna just say. I, I was the kind of mother, like, I never really wanted anyone close to my son. So the way I treated TJ in the beginning, had his name would have been Tamara, a Tiara, I'd have treated him the same way. Because that was my only child. And what I didn't want, and my fear was, I didn't want nobody else that close to him. And by being a woman that's been in relationships, I know you get really close with your mate. So that's where I was with that. And I accepted it. I even used to let TJ sleep over. But I had one rule. Y'all can't close the door. Y'all go sleep, cuddle and all that. But I just, you know, don't close the door. Even though I know that's stupid and contradictive because I work hard. I'm going my ass to sleep. And who knows? And I know I was young. And when you got to get you, you're going to get you. Perm blank. So would you so 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 do, would you say that he he was did he mess with somebody DL, DL at any time that you know, or one or guy that you might have saw later on that you saw me was he coming out my son let me what, what, did that ever now I I don't know if he ever messed with a guy that was DL but I think I did okay. because I had met this guy like I said I had a lot of friends that were gay. And I told you in the beginning, it hit different when it hit home. Yeah. You know, like your, your gay homeboy, homegirl or whatever. You cool with that. You know, like, oh, yeah, sis. But then when you got to take the reality, like, whoa, my baby too? It's something different, right? right, right yeah. So one of my gay friends introduced me to this, ooh, this big hunk of chocolate, so sweet and all that. And at the time, I'm young and dumb and wild, right? I didn't put two and two together, like maybe y'all two, whatever, whatever, right? So then I found that out, and I and I had been intimate with the guy, with the DL guy, right? So when I saw him again, it was like some years later, and he was in his group of gay gay men, right? And he just looked at me, I looked at him, we caught that eye connection, and you know, I'm like, fuck it. You know, we ain't do no damage to each other, held or anything. It's about 10, 15 years later. Do you? I gave him the nod and I handled, you know, he handled his business. I handled my business. We enjoyed ourselves where we was. That's it. It happens. But yeah. like I said, he gave me red flags. All right. So if, okay, so you get the red flags. But say, for instance, you, he come out and tell you, hey, you know what? I like men too. Okay, I feel as though me as an adult woman of a mature age, that would be my business if I'm still attracted to him and I trust him enough to go that far with him. That would be our business. And me, because who I am and what I've lived through, if I like him and I accept it, I wouldn't worry about the world, baby. 
When he feel like being with his big sexy woman, I be with my DL man. And when he go out and he be with his man, guess what? That's his business. Let's just all stay safe so we can stay healthy. You know what I mean? Cause I'ma tell you. Let me tell you something, Shaky. Good. Them motherfuckers be sexy. Excuse my language. I hope I don't get cut off, but um, oh, they be sexy. <laughs> I think the finally he is the most DL. I think that's <laughs> that's what I'm starting to find out. Like them DL motherfuckers be so fucking fine. That be pissing me the fuck off because it's like, bitch, I'm gonna give you this fine, all this good dick, and then <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm gonna fuck Teresa. So, <laughs> so it's just, I don't know what. <laughs> And, you, and, and, and what I'm saying is, on that part, I would have to respect his honesty because he's giving me the choice. And that's more if you're dealing with a DL guy that comes out and says, well, look, baby, I'm attracted to men and women. Okay, you have right then and there, he's putting it on the table. So it's <laughs> your turn to say, well, I, I deal this way or I don't. That Right there, right? Do you think, I'm going to ask you another question. Do you think I'm wrong for not telling girls no more? I used to tell her. I used to tell her. I, but I had a situation, and, and this unfolded online, where this girl, her name Carol, I told her about her baby daddy. We were messing around, just messing around. We came home. We've been messing around. I've been calling you for him. I told you this. Not only did she did not stop fucking with him and stop leaving, she didn't stop leaving him alone, but she threatened to kill me, fuck me up. Like, I, are you a liar? You know? so the, I'm like, what the, I said, what the fuck? I'm like, I look like a dummy here. What the fuck? Okay. I, I don't I don't think that you're wrong per se, but I feel like this, Shake. I feel like everybody's story is their story to tell. Like, see, I'm sharing my story with you. Yeah. And where what on what angle did you tell her about him? Were you angry with him? Or yeah. were or did you just so you so you did it out of anger? Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you this like a mother. You was wrong. You know why? Because cause your shit was upset that day. Misery loves company. So you wanted to make that woman miserable. But when that man was keeping you happy playing your game, you ain't had no wanting to tell in your, in your heart, right? So you was wrong for that one. I, I can't lie to that one. Man. You was wrong for that one. And, I'm a, and for these women, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all don't have a problem with these so-called straight men running around you with these purses. I don't like them men bags. I think they should be for just the gay men. But you got all these straight gangsters with these purses. Now nah, that don't look cute. Y'all dressed to the nines, jumping out the cars with the what they with the bees on them, the Bentleys and shit. And both of y'all got a Gucci bag, girl. That's suspect. <laughs> Because nobody almost needs a carry cash around now. They have those cards, don't they? That card yeah. could fit into them skinny jeans they wear. I love they, got on, they got on skinny jeans. So I skinny, I don't know where they dick, dick and they nuts be. I don't, I, sometimes you can see. I can't see it. <laughs> now, that means they ain't got no dick. That means they can't put <laughs> You is crazy, but baby. I, I love what you're doing, and I love your platform. And you know, like I tell you, you're so messy. You need to yeah. leave Penny alone. Fuck her. Fuck Penny. <laughs> Penny messing with DL niggas too. She just don't know this. But, uh, and, he, and, and this is the last thing I want to say. I love dogs mm -hmm. and gay people the best. And this is the reason. Like you and the other young lady said before, if y'all had a choice, wouldn't we all choose to be perfect? Yes. In a perfect world, wouldn't we just choose to be perfect? even in an unperfect world. So when you accept who you are and you be who you truly are, I think that's beautiful. So yeah. thank you for being you. Because yeah. these women, that's, you know, all us women, even me, you know, I won't go lift this ass up and shit. And, that, you <laughs> know, even though it'll be my natural fat, but that's not the natural me who God created. You know, he created me with a big ass that's right. starting to drop because I'm almost 50. But you know, I won't go put that ass back up there like when I was 30, you know. <laughs> so, so they just is fake too. So they, they in disguise too. You know, right. they got to keep the lashes, 10 pairs, all mm. this skin powder shit be so hot. <laughs> and look, me too, look, fake hair. I, I don't be liking to wear that nappy ass bush. I be wanting me some inches. You know how we do it. I, yeah. I just keep it as true as I can, baby. Love the inches. In that order. That's what they say. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. 
Yeah, y'all make sure y'all follow her. You heard me. She's uh, under honest and sit and honest and silly on Instagram. Uh, if any of y'all don't know, I don't know about New Orleans pop music, this is the mother of the legendary, legendary Nikki the Beat, and she is uh, a pillar. Yeah, of the remember Nikki Major dropping to a split. Don't forget Period. that. Period. And shake it, baby. I got a question for you. What? When you was with these women making babies. I heard you say, and I was paying attention, you said that you already knew you was gay. So um, were, were you like really miserable in those situations or did you really enjoy being with the woman? Um, my first experience in life was with a man uh, and everything. My first love was a man. Uh, he died and it kind of scorched my heart a little bit. And uh, my first baby mama, who at the time was my best friend. I can't even lie. Uh, we're still great friends. If it's too friend. emotional, you don't have to answer me right now because it seems no, like I, you got I, emotional. It's not emotional. I just want to make sure, like, you know how you say it's not my story to tell? It's not my story to tell all the way. It's my okay. story to tell how I felt about it. I want to be careful to not tell her side of the story. Okay. And so, uh, and take care of that because uh, I have to, I give my baby mama the highest honor because. They do. They took care of our kids while I was in prison, and so that's a big, big thing. Um, now, uh, so I will say for her, she knew I was gay, and she knew she knew I am gay, and she knew uh, what it was, and our friendship kind of escorted that romance, uh, our attraction. Um, she's not the first woman I had been with, but she was the woman I was with that was kind of more or less to be. You know, let me just make sure for sure I'm gay. And I could do it with you because we're friends and nothing could shake our friendship, even this. And that's been true to life for um, all those years. Uh, nothing could shake our, fr our friendship. Uh, my second baby mama, I was running from myself and another horrible relationship where it was like, I, I, a, a man ain't finna break my fucking heart no more. I might as well turn to the heartbreaker. So I tried to be straight for like a day <laughs> <Ten minutes. laughs> and, it, and if it, if it, it didn't work but there were women between them um and uh there was one other I was doing, actually i'm so sorry there was two other women after my second baby mama so uh i've had women and it's it's blended between whether they knew or what degree they knew or whatever it was or whether they, so some women do accept this and some women know this and some women just want to be in denial um but I don't, I don't feel like a bisexual person or pansexual or anything like that. Well, I'm not pansexual because I'm scared of trans women. I've never dealt with a trans woman sexually. But uh, I am. Uh, but as far as women are concerned, I can appreciate a woman's beauty, attractiveness, her smell, her thing. Um, I can get hard and fuck one. I'm pretty sure I'll eat pussy and everything like that. I've done that before. But as far as just like saying I'm going around looking for one to deal with, I don't, I don't feel that like I'm looking for a boyfriend. I'm not looking like I'm saying I don't want to date one. I don't, I don't have that desire. I don't have that attraction. I don't have the attraction to be laid up next to one or anything like that. And so um, the women that I have dealt with was uh, the the relationships were not there for real. Uh, even in the case of my first baby mom, it was really just a friendship that was made. And in the case of my second one, it was a, a me hiding the me from me kind of sort of thing. I don't want that no more. So. Uh, in between, it was all of just sexual and sexual nature of what was going on at the time, not relationship wise. But when I think about myself as far as romantically and attraction, I think of man, and that's just true. Okay, so you so you was a little nasty, huh? You you just liked it, that that feeling and the arousal you get. So so I'm sometimes a lot nasty. It, so I'm sometimes it's it, it, it was a nasty. nasty. All right, all right, all right. All right. You, know, you, be, you know you could be you know you could be honest I, with Mama B. That's I'm, okay. Though. I, I, you know the song. I ain't a freak. I'm just a little nasty. That's um, you know the song. You know how I go. So, um, I know how I go. Okay, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a lot nasty. I mean, I was, you know, I, I, I do look. I will try anything at least once, except pissing on me or shitting on me or some shit like that. That's oh, yeah, I with that. Okay, now, now this is another one that I have. I need you to answer this one since you are openly gay. This is one that I had an issue with with a guy that's in my present life. Okay, I love perfume. Always did. And 
I was telling him a story that I was in a Walmart and I passed down the aisle and it smelled so damn good that I had to double back and it was just only one lady. So I was like, excuse me, ma'am, what are you wearing? You smell so beautiful. So he was like, you gay? I'm like, why is that gay? Because I'm telling a woman that she smells beautiful. I said the difference between men and women is women, when you're real with who you are and you accept who you are, you know, you can say things like that. I don't want a woman. The shit smelled beautiful, so I gave her a compliment. So I asked him being straight, the whole eight straight, right? I said, so you wouldn't tell a man that his cologne is nice? And he's like, no, I ain't no fucking punk. And I don't get that because, okay, if you could sit here and, and, and down a man about looking funny, like if you could say, oh, shaky, big ass, got blue hair, that's a damn shame. You notice that he has blue hair, right? Right. Which tells me you can see things. So if you see a man that's completely handsome, why can't you say, that's a handsome dude? Because I could tell a woman like, oh, yeah, you're a bad bitch. You wearing that? That don't mean I want to though. Right. I I think I don't get I, that. I think this 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 hypo masculinity that we as black people especially have adopted is very very dangerous. Like you can't you can't just be who you are and be who you are. Because some people are they're masculine gay men, and we expect our gay men just to be all girl. This and I mean I am, but so I can't talk about it. But we expect that so much of our gay men. But we should look like somebody like whatever, whatever. It's like, we'd be so surprised. Oh, he gay? He fucking went up. But he, it's like, he been who he can't, we can't be who people. We, we so caught up on what's supposed to be that we can't accept what is as far as we are as a black people. So guess what? You know, he is like, he ain't doing nothing. But when he was taught, and what's embedded in us to not, he know, he could look at a man and say, that nigga looks pretty good. That nigga fly as hell. And not be gay. He can't, he don't, he don't know how to wrap his mind around it. Cause that's what he, it's, that's a tough behavior. He, he right. do what you say. He passed by the man, but I mean, that's, he can feel, oh, that's the fly outfit. Oh, you looking pretty good. And so, just, just like you could do it, and you learn that, oh, that's okay. They, we, we teach our kids that this is not, and that's not true. And that shouldn't be happening. And I agree because like I like I said earlier, I did not want to accept that he was gay. But I always saw it. I tried what I, I tried everything, you know, but when it got time for him to be an adult and do adult things, he, he did it the opposite way and I had nothing to do but accept it. And if God would bring him back today, I would still want him to be who he is because that's who I know and that's who I love. And no, people do not choose to be gay. Just like we don't choose to be straight. You know, you just know when you get a certain age and the hormones turn on, you just know what kind of makes you have this funny little feeling that's a sexual arousement. You might not know what it is at, at an age because sometimes it starts young. Right. And either that arousal is going to come upon you from a woman you encounter or a man, you know, and, and for some of us, the straight ones of us, it come from a man, and usually with women, it's an older man. We will know what we like about that key, key, key about him, but it'd be the sexual arousal, and I, and I guess for men, it'd be another man, too, you know? And you'd just be like, like what, what am I feeling, you know, like, Right. And I didn't I didn't get all the time I needed. Me and Nikki had a lot of talks, but I wish he was here today while we having this talk. But I did get enough information to find <laughs> out what role he played. But like again, that's not my story to tell. And if I tell all that, it's gonna cost y'all. So you know what <laughs> I'm saying. We waiting on the book, girl. No. Mm -hmm. You gotta get with me. What you doing? You putting more blue? I like that blue too. No, I'm actually putting my arm. It's the curl activator, so I can put my arm sponge in. So that's all. Cause you about to go. You got somebody else lined up that won't talk to you? Cause I don't want to take all your time. Your girl, you good, bro. Okay. <laughs> you want to leave, girl? Well, what else you want to talk about, baby? 
I mean, we got it done. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a nice day. You too. I'll talk to you again. Cool. <laughs> Girl, gay people is not a choice. I'm just telling y'all know this. Y'all just take it with what y'all want and try to put it together. Being gay is not a choice. Who are here? Somebody say something I want to add. They kept Amy, Amy, Amy. He changed, girl. Did I do it right? I don't know. I guess I didn't do it right. Well, you is invited. Hi. Hey, Hello. Hey, baby. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I was wondering, when are we going to do top ten again? When I get so Tuesday. Tuesday in the morning. Are we going to do it in the afternoon? Good morning. I live for those top ten. They be having me so high. Period. Stop doing them. I, I'm sorry. I just was uh, traveling and kind of like just got here busy for a little while, so that's kind of like that. I understand. I'm just saying that's the main reason why I be watching you. I'm going to need that top ten. I need to that. Period. 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 Hi, Shaky. Hi. Who this, who, who this other girl is? Gaming Boy Pro, what's the, what, you, what you got? You talking to me or? No, I'm oh, they hung up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm from D.C. Okay. Um, and I think I'm, I'm straight, but I have had my experiences with women. So you're not straight? I what, am. What's your experience with? What kind of experience you I mean, I, I've had a threesome, um, I've, and, I, and I find myself being attracted to women, but it's like sometimes when it comes to, like, sexual stuff, I'm not really all the way there. I prefer a man. You prefer um, a man, but you yeah. can't a woman, but you would do women. Yes, I have tried things with women, yes. By yourself, without a man at all? Yes. Are you straight? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I I just think that I don't like it to go that far. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm, I mean, I'm here with you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So, let me ask you: Do you think that there's a difference between um? Yeah, I just like to play. Exactly. Sometimes I like to play, but I prefer a man. Yeah. Okay. So. I just wanted to ask you: Do you think there's a difference between? And don't be offended by nobody on this live. Is there a difference between a gay man and a faggy to you? No, and I don't like dykes. I like them. That's why I um don't. I'm actually terrified of dykes. <laughs> hey, Joe, I see you creeping in. You ain't got to come speak. Just go and put your smiley face up. I just feel some type of way. Because I didn't receive a call today, and I don't know if you was expecting a call from me before I could give you, give you, hold on one second. I'm talking to this nigga over here. That they come from back up on his bitch or something. But hold on one second. Oh. <laughs> but I see you sneaking over here. Uh, so, okay. If the word faggot is, is derived as a derogatory term okay. for a homosexual man, mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a Caucasian derived thing. That then was adopted to us as black people who were in that, that uh, lifestyle. Uh, so it is meant to be derogatory. Okay. Uh, is there a difference in a sense? Um, to a gay person, a fag, to a gay person, a fag is the worst of our kind. As far as, if I call somebody a fag, I'm calling them trifling, dirty, nasty. They don't abide by any type of coolness or rule or anything like that. Uh, so, so a gay person to another gay person calling him a fag is a derogatory term. A straight person calling it, to us, to straight people, all of us are fags. 
no matter what, <laughs> no matter where we at in the total See, boat. I actually think that there's a difference. Um, I think that that gay men are more respected than faggies, and I say that because I just I just think that you know when it comes to men that are on the down low, I feel like that is. Like if a if a fag you know a gay man or a faggy deal with them, I feel like that's considered a faggy. You know, I don't know why it's always like a lot of competition between the faggies and like women. I feel like gay men. You know, I like being around a gay man. I don't like men that want to sleep with someone that is straight. I don't think that that's okay unless you know you are that person like you said that tell um, the woman. You know, I'll tell the woman the more. I'll never tell her again. You should. I'll never tell her again. You should. I won't. I'm saying if you know, then I feel like you should because I honestly, that, that, that takes away the option of whether or not she wants to deal with I thought that too with it. until the woman blamed me. Like, I did something wrong. Now, I will be honest. I told mm -hmm. her when I was upset. That's true. I'm not going to say I didn't because I'll be lying. And I'm not a lie. Right. But I will say this. I told her. And even if I told her when I was mad, I told her. I mm -hmm. proved it to her. So even when I was told it to her, that wasn't enough. I was automatically lying. So I had yeah. to prove it to her. And after proving it to her, I still was the one. But she made excuses for him while blaming me. Right. Then she went to accuse me. This woman has went so far as to threaten my life. And all I ever did was tell her the truth. I'll be, I did tell her the truth, but I was mad. But also, too, and, and to be so, had I not been mad, maybe would I tell the truth? I don't know. My feelings were involved. Her feelings was involved. And right. I did tell her. And I was made up to be the bad guy. And so I would never tell her again. I'm not but you know, you know, she she you know she had to be reacting off of emotions, um, shaky. Like I don't believe that, you know, I, I think that would kind of be any woman's reaction in a sense that's hurt, you know, that want, that's in disbelief, honestly, because you know, with us not knowing that you, we just strictly see you dealing with a woman or just me, you know, it, it would be, um, your hair looks really good. It would be, um, <laughs> it would, can, it's very traumatizing, honestly. I can see both sides. I can understand why you wouldn't want to tell anyone and why you should. I can see why you should because honestly, some people are crazy and unfortunately that's how a lot of people lost their lives by not, you know, being honest, but sometimes being honest gets you in trouble sometimes too because people don't know how to take the truth. I'm not telling them. But about. at that point, it's, it's mm -hmm. I feel like you know you did your part. Like that's just how I see it. Like no woman that's straight wants to deal with a man that's sleeping with a man. That's just yes, they do because she still uh -huh. want to deal with him. She does. And I, but I, I have dealt with women that want to deal with a man and knowing I'm a big old sister. Yeah, so that's does, but but I think that's because she let her emotions choose for her. You know, I'm I'm just I'm speaking like just for me. A lot of straight women don't want to deal with that. Like, and we appreciate the men do that do. You know, no, y'all don't. Y'all blame the men. That's not true. No, you no. no. You don't tell a man thank you. You turn it all over. I, not too particular as a person, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think, I think your experience is just made it bad. We all want to blame you, especially if you are invested in that other person. We're going to blame the other person. We're going to say, no, you're a liar and go with the man that we already know with, even though it's, we know it's the truth. And nine times out of ten, we've been saw it and know what's up. Like, we can see it's, the problem. It's just hard to believe. I think it's just our disbelief. <laughs> like, wow, like, is this for real? You know, because it is a, a shocker. It is. But is it disbelief or denial? Both. In the same I thing love it how... I feel like it depends on the situation. I'm so, I'm so, one, second, one second. I love how we are really on Beagle and IG and y'all having a conversation. And I just I just find that so amazing right now. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> but, but I'm going to try to do this more often. Because the Beagle simply sees the things one way and the IG simply have their own little thing. So no shame. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Continue our conversation. You were saying yes. she's so off. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. So, you know, I, well, I'm letting you know that me as a straight woman, I can definitely appreciate, you know, the, the truth, because I feel like that's, that's what we need. Truth. Speak up and say, like, my man is sleeping with a man. I want to know because it saves us time, grief, you know, all of that. If we have a family, 
it's just it's a lot with especially if you do have children that are involved in in those kind of situations it helps yeah i'm not saying okay i just Hey, I just want to say one quick thing. I have um, dated a man who was bisexual, and we were friends first, and I still found myself attracted to him even after I knew that he was bisexual. And for me, as a person, I didn't find anything wrong with it. I guess that's me because I don't, I mean, it just didn't bother me. I still wanted to date him. He was still a good person. I was still attracted to him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we don't think that it's, it's straight up cheating because a man is a man a woman is a woman it's not the same thing cheating is cheating but you know once you cheat outside of what your what your norm is you that's what you want you don't want what i have you want what they have <laughs> that's why it's it's different can you elaborate on that uh, no i was reading someone's comment they said why is it not equal penalty for um it just meant straight up cheating at the end of the day it is straight up cheating but i feel like once you want something that's not what your what your norm is then guess what? You you need to go be with a man. If if a woman is not what you want, a woman what, what, is not the same as a man. Wait, 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 hold up. In my case, it was not cheating. It was an open and known thing. <laughs> now, while we were dating, he was not dealing with anyone. Um, from my knowledge, when we would have open conversations, I don't know, but I knew that he was a bisexual male. So it's not an infatuation, but it's somebody that I have like as a person and wanted to be with. And that's what it was. It wasn't an infatuation. It wasn't some kind of freak show. It wasn't something like, oh, God, let me try this or out of my box or out of my norm. It just was that. I mean, I, I wasn't saying infatuated like, you know, you were seeing him as something like a fetish. I was saying it like, you know, you. You were strongly attracted to that person. When you, when you really like somebody, I'm saying like all the all the things that people usually would say, okay, I'm not attracted to you. Your friends could say, okay, that's gross to me, but because you really like somebody, okay, I don't care. Like you know, it's just I'm just like one of those people. Like we don't want out. If we're straight, we don't want out. I don't want to be with a man. That was that's just like a gay man. I'm sure that a gay man would not want their man to sleep with a woman if they like men. It's the same I like thing. My, I like my man. some gay couples that, that sleep with women. I like my man liking women. That turned me up. And it's like different. It's different. No, like I'm saying some, I know that some probably don't, you know? Some probably don't. It's the same. You know, we like them liking men. Yeah, but that's what you have to set up in your relationship with that person. I mean, whatever understanding y'all have in your relationship, if you were to date someone that is bisexual or whatever, it has different terms. Some people don't mind them sleeping with, you know, somebody else or anything like that. It's all, it's, it, it depends on what your relationship is and what you want to define it to be. Those things like that, that don't bother me. I guess I'm just a little bit out of the box and I don't know people would see it, well, especially in the black community, it would see it like out of the box. I need to get bigger, um, uh, <laughs> they're not talking over each other. It might be coming across this day, but they're really not. They're talking one at a time. I know, I and then I'm reading the comments too. I'm responding to a lot of the comments as well. Yeah. But that was some good stuff. All right, so y'all, look, check this out. We had a very interesting conversation today. I want to appreciate everybody come on Vigo and Aji. Um, and I would look forward to doing some more of these things. I'm starting to see that I could make these quicks just make it. For real, people on IG, because I just completely forgot about y'all over here on IG for people. Because <laughs> <laughs> girl, that's what the queen jealous of over there, and so yeah. I got to hear them girls they do jealous. But I will say that it, it was fun, kind of. Mention it too. I got a little ring light. I got both of the cameras. I just see it's real cute. So I definitely want to see. I see y'all, and I see I do miss a little bit about my IG people because y'all have y'all on their way of whatever, whatever. Some people yeah. go back and forth. Some people are very much over here, but some people are just very much over there. And so we got. I'm gonna try to see if we can maybe try to find a little balance. But I do yeah. thank y'all so much for coming and tuning in. I do have to go because I do have to do a job. Um, okay. But I will bring if y'all are my my people. I will bring y'all to work with me. 
Uh, IG people, I just gotta bring them because they, they, they kind of, they pay to the fans a lot for a ride. But, um, we love I will, you, Shaky, from DC again. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, so I, I'm gonna save the live for y'all that missed it. And if y'all want, y'all can check out my Beagle. Um, and we'll go from there. Love you so much.